Hello and welcome back to my another plan with me and welcome back to my channel or to my channel Angelia's Hobbies and today I am doing the plan with me for April 25th through May 1st. This is my moving week but I did originally um, have this kit planned and kept it in my lineup and then um, next week I will do more of like a moving kind of cleaning kind of kit and that will just be like for unpacking week. But this is the week that we got my cat one year ago on April 28th. We adopted her. Um, if you don't know, I did have another cat for 16 years. She passed away at the end of 2020. I think December, yeah, December 2020, the day after my daughter's birthday. And... I took the beginning of the year to kind of to grieve her because I had her for 16 years since I was seven years old. And so I took the beginning of the year to like grieve her and just spend some time alone. And it was very, very weird not having a cat around. Um, and then in April, I started looking for another cat. And finally, at the end of April, I was able to um, adopt my cat Oreo and she is two years old. Her birthday is in November, but um, I just wanted to do this kit for her like adoption anniversary. So I, yeah, I really like the cat cafe theme. I am not a cat a coffee drinker at all, but I would definitely love to go to a cat cafe one day and play with all the cats because my current cat, I can't get any other ones, and I do just like having one pet at a time, um, but yeah, she definitely would not get along with other cats. I can just, I just know that. Um, where I adopted her from, she was in a foster home, and they had another cat, and they did not get along um, at all, and so they actually had to like keep her in a bedroom pretty much all day, and then they like let her out a couple hours at nighttime but it was like so sad so she was like I know whenever you're you have a new cat you're supposed to like leave them in a room and let them adjust to that room and then let them out of out and explore your whole house but we only kept her in a room for like a couple days and then we just let her explore the whole house because she was so happy having a whole house to explore so yeah that's kind of my little story with um, how I got Oreo and her one year anniversary. Um, it is hard having her because she does take prescription cat food. Um, but hopefully she is due to go to the vet soon as, as soon as we can get enough money to like do the new patient and shots and all that stuff. Um, and maybe we can, I'm hoping we can switch her food to something else cheaper but similar we will see um but if you know you know then prescription animal food is very very expensive and it is tough with her and she is also like a little moody sometimes like sometimes she'll be like really nice like let her pet you a whole bunch and then like randomly like scratch you and she has scratched our kids a couple of times but she is finally you know after you know, probably about six months is whenever she really got comfortable with us. And yeah, we love having her around. My kids love her and um, they just know not to bother her too much just to pet her a little bit. And yeah, that's my story of Oreo and I will start the day by day since I am almost there. I don't remember if I told you any details about the kit, but I am using Simply Gilded Washi, Planahanna underlays. The rest of the foil is from Planner Pixie Co., um, like the foil bundle part and the kit is from sticky essentials so on monday i just marked that i painted my nails and that sticker is from stick with plan co and then i made a lot of like phone calls like i think like to like my son like my kids new schools and different things like that to get everything set up also like shutting off internet phone all that stuff at or like internet um and like electric and stuff like that at the old house. And then I did some filming and had some planning time. And uh, my fiance was working out of town where our new house was. So I was alone. 
Um, but I did have my mother-in-law there to help me whenever she could. Um, then I went on a grocery run that night and then I talked to my fiance on the phone a good bit. And then I did some binge watching. Not sure. Maybe it was Heartstopper. I think I finished Heartstopper this day. I'm pretty sure. Um, if you have not watched that show, it takes place. Um, it's based off of graphic novels and the show is one and two of the graphic novels. Highly recommend the graphic novels. I haven't finished the fourth one yet and highly recommend that TV show. Love Heartstopper. And sorry if you can hear the garbage truck in the background. Apparently I decided a perfect time to do the voiceover was whenever the garbage truck was about to come. Did not mean to do that. Um, but Tuesday, I just marked that I did some YouTube stuff and I played with stickers. Then I marked that maintenance came by and put a whole bunch of new light bulbs in. Perfect timing for right before me move, but it's, it's fine. Um, and then I just spent most of the night having some reading time, made some pizza for dinner, and then I joined the live show of the Sugar and Spice book club that I, uh, usually join in. I wasn't in the live show. I was just a part of the chat and then ended the night with working in my bullet journal, which I definitely need to get back to doing that. So hopefully I can get maybe this weekend, get caught up on that. And then on Wednesday, I just marked that I did a lot of packing. The pack script is from Carly Plans and the girl is from Stick with the Plan Co. And I listened to an audiobook. Both of those stickers are from Carly Plans. Then I did some cleaning before I took the kids to play outside and then ended the night with organizing stickers. And then I did have a backache just from like all of the packing and moving around stuff. And then I just ended the night with some reading time on my Kindle. And then on Thursday, the first thing that I marked was that I had that was it was one year with our cat Oreo. That cat sticker is from Once More With Love. And um, also, if you did not notice, I pulled in a lot of of the rose stickers from Scribble Prince Co. Because this kit was really lacking in some boxes. So I had to pull in a good amount of extra boxes and didn't really feel like searching for the colors of the kit. So I just basically pulled in those everywhere. I think it turned out pretty good. And then I did some filming and then I was just in my feelings just... Being alone was pretty tough. I don't know how single mothers do it. Like, just two weeks being alone was pretty tough. And then I just did some packing. And then I cooked dinner in the Instapot. I think I made um, chicken tacos or chicken quesadillas. Um, I just put chicken salsa in the Instapot. Um, or I, you can also use a crock pot and, like, let it go all day. And I actually need to get a new crock pot. So I've been cooking in the Instant Pot a little bit more because in the move, our crock pot broke. So I need a new one. But the, that Instant Pot sticker is from Mr. and Mrs. Mint. The cook dinner script is from Carly Plans. And then I just ended the night with a lazy night. The snowball with the low battery sticker is from... Sweet Ava's Paper and the Lazy Night script is from Plana Hannah. And then on Friday, I, th I just marked that I slept like crap. And then the 100% Done sticker is from Kelly Plans. And I just marked that I had some U-Haul issues. They We were trying to pick up the U-Haul on Saturday morning and load the U-Haul all day, like Saturday, as long as we can on Saturday. And then actually move, like, um, whenever we wake, woke up, we were going to just pretty much get an early start and drive to our new house that morning. Um, but it did not work out. We unfortunately couldn't get the U-Haul until Sunday morning. Um, but yeah, we had a U-Haul issue where we could still pick it up Saturday, but they wanted us to drive an hour and a half to go pick it up. Um, three hours to get a U-Haul and bring it back? No, thank you. We are not paying for that gas to do that. And then also, like, the drive to our new house is four hours long. Um, so yeah, that didn't work out. <laughs> but thankfully, we did eventually get it figured out. You'll see on Saturday. So I just marked that I, we were having a U-Haul issue. And then I marked that my fiancé was home. And then after that, it was my son's last day of school this day. But he did have a school carnival this day, and I told him we would still go. So we did take my son to his school carnival. They had, like, blow-up things and 
games and all that fun stuff. And then after the kids went to bed, me and my fiance proceeded to pack while we watched some Hulu that night. And then on Saturday, I just marked that it was a rainy day. I did some more packing and then we ended up moving everything downstairs. So that way, whenever we got the U-Haul on Sunday, it would be easier. Then we went over to our, our in-law's house to spend the night and I was just feeling a little bit anxious there. But then we ended up just having some family time and watching some Hulu after the kids went to bed. And then on Sunday was actual moving day. We packed up the truck and it, again, a rainy day, um, but we got the truck packed up and then um, we went out to breakfast. We actually went out to breakfast before we packed the truck. And then we drove the four hours to the new house and we didn't get to the new house until like seven o'clock, I want to say. Um, and I just marked that I did some reading in the car on the way there. And then I marked that we started to unpack the truck and we had pizza for dinner and probably didn't get to bed until like 11 ish or so. That's not late for some people, but it is a little bit late for me. Um, but yeah, we, it was a long, long day of moving. Let's just say that like I was not planning on packing and unpacking the truck in the same day. So that was a little bit different, but yeah, we got it worked out. And then the next week was just mainly unpacking and organizing everything. So here is the finished spread and I also will be doing a close up, which I am trying my best to include doing these in my plan with me videos. So if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more plan with me's planner hauls and a little bit of wax content. And I am glad that I am finally in May.